Fisher's second U.S. championship title wasn't certain until the penultimate round when Arthur Biskier botched a favorable middle game against him and then blundered away a drawn rook and pawn endgame. Jack Collins, another of Fisher's mentors, cited this game in My Seven Chess Prodigies as an example of Bobby's versatility. But it's a better testament to his will to win, and over-optimism. E2 E4 E7 E5 Knight g1 f3 Knight b8 c6 Bishop f1 b5 a7 a6 Bishop b5 a4 Knight g8 f6 Castling king side Bishop f8 e7 Rook f1 e1 b7 b5 Bishop a4 b3 d7 d6 c2 c3 Castling king side h2 h3 knight c6 a5 bishop b3 c2 c7 c5 d2 d4 queen d8 c7 knight b1 d2 knight a5 c6 d4 captures c5 d6 captures c5 knight d2 f1 bishop c8 e6 Kelm, who gave up chess for mathematics a few years later heads into what was a main line of the Lopez in 1959. Knight f1 e3 Rook a8 d8 Queen d1 e2 g7 g6 Better may be c5 c4 Not Knight f3 g5 h7 h6 Knight g5 captures e6 f7 takes on e6 b2 b4 b2 b4 Knight c6 d4 And black had the upper hand in Fisher Cole move, Havana 1965 Knight e3 f5 Rook f8 e8 g7 g6 Knight f3 g5 Bishop e6 c8 The loosening of black's king position after 16 g6 makes c5 c4 knight g5 captures e6 much better than in the previous note f7 captures e6 knight e3 g4 knight f3 g5 bishop e6 c8 a2 a4 White's middle game priorities are challenging the enemy queenside pawns, and a timely nt5 to open the center. c5 c4 If black defends the b-pawn with his queen, white has several attractive options including 19.axp5axb520.h4 and 20.bb3. a4 captures b5 a6 takes on b5 b2 b3 white realizes both priorities after 20 cx b3 21 x b3 and a5 22 nd5 with advantage b5 b4 the first new move designed to soften up d4 for a knight landing previously knight c6 a5 
b3 captures c4 b5 takes on c4 bishop c1 a3 had been played and found to favor white the combination c4 captures b3 bishop c2 captures b3 knight c6 a5 knight e3 d5 knight f6 captures d5 bishop b3 takes on d5 rook d8 takes on d5 fails to e4 takes on d5 knight a5 b3 d5 d6 and white has a clear edge after bishop e7 captures d6 rook a1 b1 rook a1 b1 bishop e7 takes on d6 or queen c7 takes on d6 bishop c1 a3 b2 b3 white realizes both priorities after 20 cxb3 21 dot bxb3 na5 22 dot nd5 with advantage b5 b4 Black's innovation shines after. Knight e3 captures c4. b4 captures c3. Queen e2 e3. Knight c6 d4. Black also has excellent piece play after. c3 captures b4. c4 takes on b3. Bishop c2 takes on b3. Knight c6 d4. Queen e2 b2. Bishop c8 b7. Knight e3 g4. Knight f6 captures g4. h3 captures g4. Knight d4 captures b3. Queen b2 captures b3. Rook d8 d4. Queen e2 captures c4. h7 h6. A consequence of black's last move. Now 22.nf3 be 6 23.moves bx c3 favor him. Knight e3 d5. Knight f6 captures d5. E4 captures D5. It makes more sense to trade off a pair of bishop. Bishop E7 captures G5. Bishop c1 takes on g5. h6 captures g5. Although white is still a tad better after. Queen c4 captures c6. Queen c7 takes on c6. d5 takes on c6. Rook d8 d2. Rook a1 c1. h6 captures g5. Queen c4 captures c6. Queen c7 takes on c6. d5 takes on c6. Post-mortem attempts to improve black's chances with Bishop e7 f6 
c3 takes on b4 bishop c8 e6 bishop c1 e3 e5 e4 rook a1 d1 bishop c8 e6 rook a1 a7 bishop e7 c5 rook a7 b7 failed d5 captures c6 b4 takes on c3 rook e1 captures e5 bishop e7 f6 Another try is Bishop c8 f5 Rook e5 captures e7 Bishop f5 captures d2 b3 b4 Rook d8 d1 King g1 h2 Bishop c2 d3 Rook e7 d7 And b4 b5 breaks the blockade Now 27.rc5 bd4 seems to help black but 28.rc4 b6 29.c7 rd6 30.ba3 wins rook e7 d7 and b4 b5 breaks the blockade now 27.rc5 bd4 seems to help black but 28.rc4 b6 29.c7 rd6 30.ba3 wins Bishop e7 f6 Rook e5 a5 The best try White's material begins to tell after g5 g4 The best try White's material begins to tell after g5 g4 h3 captures g4 bishop c8 captures g4 bishop c1 f4 or rook e5 a5 bishop c8 e6 bishop c1 captures g5 bishop f6 captures g5 rook a5 captures g5 Rook d8 d2 Rook a1 c1 And 31 Rc5 Rook f8 e8 White must act with dispatch since King g1 f1 Allows Bishop c1 captures g5 White must act with dispatch since King g1 f1 Allows Rook d8 d2 E.g. Bishop c1 captures d2 c3 captures d2 Rook a1 d1 Rook e8 e1 Bishop c1 takes on g5. Bishop f6 captures g5. Rook a5 captures g5. Rook d8 d2. Rook a1 c1. Rook e8 e2. This was a key idea behind 27. Rf8. Bishop c2 captures g6 A unique situation arises after Rook g5 a5 Rook d2 captures c2 Rook c1 captures c2 
Rook e2 captures d2. Rook a5 a8. Rook c2 c1. King g1 h2. c3 c2. Rook a8 captures c8. King g8 g7. c6 c7. When both players will queen on the c file. Black then wins with. Rook c1 h1. King h2 captures h1. c2 c1. King h1 h2. Queen c1 f4. Bishop c2 takes on g6. f7 captures g6. Rook c1 takes on c3. King g8 h7. Not. Rook c3 f3. b3 b4. Not. Rook c3 f3. Rook d2 b2. And the pawns are no threat. b3 b4 rook e2 e1 king g1 h2 rook d2 takes on f2 b4 b5 this was by far the best game played by fisher in the tournament why then did he fail to include it in my 60 memorable games the search for an answer starts here rook f2 b2 king h2 g3 the king threatens to help shepherd the pawns, 36. Re2 37.kf3, black can try to stop that with 36. Rg1 with the idea of 37.kf3 bxh3. 38.gxh3. Rxg5 39.c7 rf5 plus 40.k4 rf8, drawing. White cannot play for a win with 37.kh4 rgxg2 38.rxg2 rxg2 39.b6 because 39. g5 plus. Mates. King h7 h6. A good attempt to confuse white. 37.rgc5. reb1. Rook c3 c5. Rook e1 e3. King g3 f4. Rook e3 b3. White, seeking a win at all costs, avoids. h3 h4. Rook b3 b4. After which a draw is inevitable. King f4 e5. Rook b4 captures b5. King f4 e5. Rook b4 takes on b5. Rook c5 takes on b5. Rook b2 captures b5. King e5 f6. Rook b5 b6. Rook g5 d5. Rook b2 takes on g2. Rook d5 d8. Bishop c8 captures h3. The real reason is that black missed a real advantage with Rook g2 f2 Bishop c8 e6 Bishop c8 captures h3 Rook d8 h8 King h6 g7 Rook h8 captures h3 Rook b3 captures h3 c6 c7 Rook g2 f2 King f4 g4. Rook h3 h8. Black draws. That would be a just outcome to a sterling game. But that's not why the game was omitted by Fisher. Rook d8 h8. The real reason is that black missed a real advantage with. Rook g2 f2.
King f4 e5. Bishop c8 captures h3. The position resembles that game, but with the major difference that. If instead. c6 c7. Rook f2 f5. King e5 d6. Rook b3 d3. King d6 c6. Rook f5 f6. King c6 b7. Bishop h3 g2. And wins. King f4 e5. Bishop c8 e6. King f4 e5. Bishop e6 takes on h3. Rook d8 h8. King h6 g7. Rook h8 captures h3. Rook b3 captures h3. c6 c7. Now white is winning but there are several finesses to come. Rook h3 h8. The natural. King e5 d6. Rook g2 b2. King d6 c6. Enables black to complicate things with. King g7 f6. b5 b6. Rook h8 e8. b6 b7. Rook e8 e6. King c6 d5. Rook b2 d2. King d5 c4. Rook d2 c2. Rook c5 d5. Rook g2 e2. The threat was rd8 and f45. Rc2 then 46. B6. King e5 d6. King g7 f6. B5 b6. Rook e2 b2. King d6 c6. Rook h8 c8. Rook d5 d8. Rook b2 c2. King c6 b7. Rook c8 captures c7. b6 captures c7. White wins by a tempo now and would win faster after 51. g5. 52. rd6 plus and 53. rc6. After 5 hours a good swindle try would be. King f6 e5. c7 c8. Rook c2 captures c8. Rook d8 captures c8. g6 g5. King b7 c6. g5 g4. Shut the king out. b6 takes on c7. White wins by a tempo now and would win faster after 51. g5. 52. rd6 plus and 53. RC6. King F6 F5. C7 C8. Rook C2 captures C8. Rook D8 takes on C8. G6 G5. King B7 C6. G5 G4. King C6 D5. G4 G3. Rook C8 F8. King f5 g4. King d5 e4. g3 g2. Rook f8 g8. And kf3. King f5 f4. King d5 d4. King f4 f3. King d4 d3.